Look at the JP Frog, a 45 Hatteras sport fisherman that's won many tournaments. Great sport fishing boat. Let's take a look at the back and the cockpit with me, please. The beam's 14 7, three and a half foot draft. You can take it most anywhere. That's a Rockaway fighting chair. In the back, a true classic. Notice the cockpit boxes and the big uh, windows for light inside. The bridge has a new hard top and tower. The instrument box is loaded. We'll look at that in a few minutes. They're not only tower lights that are dimmable, but underwater lights, which allow you to bring the fish up behind and make a living aquarium right off your dive platform. The cockpit boxes are unique in that this box contains a grill ready to cook whenever you want that fresh fish you've caught. Beneath is a tackle center with all of the lures and other accoutrements for a true sport fishing vessel. The starboard side, there are drink boxes which uh, can be cooled but which right now are loaded with ice. There's dry storage underneath and a nifty spot to keep your cleaning materials on the side. The bridge is very economical and easy to use. As you can see, the view from up here is expansive. There are two captain's chairs and a bench seat in front that has um, cushions which are off the boat right now. The bridge can be enclosed with eyes and glass. The instrument box has a 48 mile Furuno radar along with the 951X um, North Star GPS, a ComNav uh, autopilot, and a new ICOM VHF radio. There, you can see that there are lights, that uh, LED lights in, in the uh, hardtop, and they change from a white to a blue to a red. And then they'll actually alternate between colors for a red, white, and blue effect on any holiday. In the interior, as we step in, there's the great mahogany, which gives it a real club atmosphere. There's a high-low table. You'll see in the port forward area, there's a commercial ice maker that's built in. and a 32 bottle wine refrigerator on the opposite side. In the back, on the port side in the corner, is another utility tackle center where we keep charts, some tools, and other items that we don't need on a regular basis. The headliner all new and with dimmable LED lights also has rod storage for at least 27 Penn Internationals. Forward is the entertainment center complete with a tape deck, receiver, and a uh, color TV with direct TV available. There's also a single sideband, another VHF radio, and a second GPS for, uh, for monitoring down below. The helm station it, uh, is used to start the vessel and to monitor the gauges, but as you can see, the front windows have been glassed in, so there's no steering from down here unless you're braver than I am. We go down the companionway to the galley, you can see there's parquet floor here for ease of cleanup. There's also a new Fisher Paycall stainless refrigerator freezer with built-in water dispenser in the door. There's a convection microwave oven and a two burner electric range with plenty of storage. The master stateroom has a full queen 
with its own entertainment center. The master head has a shower and all of the toilets, there are two on the boat, have been converted to fresh water. The second stateroom is forward and has v berths with LED lighting that's dimmable as well as DC lighting. There's a lavatory on the port side with a toilet under the bench seat, which is also fresh water. In the forepeak is the anchor locker containing the road and an electric windlass which runs off of the generation system. Power is provided by two 6V92 Detroit diesels which have been recently overhauled producing 560 horsepower each. Generation is provided by a 16KW Phasor generator which is in the very back and there is a water maker by Village Marine Tech. The vessel holds 180 gallons of water and 700 gallons of fuel. for a boat ride. Let's put it up on plane and see how she runs. 